And nerds, welcome back today. As you can see, we are going through some changes. Um, sick of my green screen, gotta say. But today we are gonna open my uh, pocket card grading, grading card returns. These are all brilliant stars cards. Have mastered it as well. I'm gonna show you that off at some point. Um, because I'm very proud of that. But let's get into this, see what grades we've got. And I am gonna go over uh, on the database, the website and the uh, grading sheets that they do give you to see exactly where your card's fallen down and things like that. So it's going to be a bit of a long one. Strap in, but it is worth it because pocket card grading here in the UK, um, I think personally, it's all a matter of opinion, of course, but they're the best grading company around. Of course, if you're overseas from America, it is difficult. Uh, you don't want to go through these middlemen really um, they've had a lot of bad press and I know oh, all the values at PSA but for me it's about uh, what slabs you like the process how much you trust the people as well who are going to be handling your cards and I think once you've seen it all what comes with it the whole process you'll agree that it is worth if you are thinking about grading your cards especially if you're in the UK even though they do service uh, much of the world as well um they, they really are worth a go okay so just bear with me we'll get into this and i'll go over everything with you right, so i've just opened the box up guys um now i know some of you might think oh that's a small box what is there in here 12 13 cards i don't really care they package it very well we'll see that um i don't want was it get graded who did that big black box with all the fancy pants stuff on it's a box yo I'm gonna throw it in the bin but one thing i like is this little slip now they they do give some nice notes so they put uh we are so glad to grade your cards again never disappoint always stunning selections for your submissions i feel bad because i was promising a submission for so long and i changed my mind on what the submission was going to be as well uh so they said they've made a, a few changes since i last submitted uh label more vivid less transparent that that was a thing really where if you held it up to the light you you could see right you could see right through it so that that is good uh, as well as moving the hologram on the back to make room for barcodes in case log your submissions the big change is the report sheet we'd love to get your thoughts on it don't worry i will give you my thoughts on that i have actually seen it because i went poking through the database it was actually pocket card gradings database that uh i was just nosying through funnily enough and i saw the um galaxy foil mewtwo from brilliant stars actually existed i had no idea it was an american exclusive so thank you for that guys because <laughs> that's how i found out and i've already picked that up uh and if you have any issues uh let them know so like i say very very nice personal touch there very nice they care at the end of the day they do care so here um we've got our metal cards you can see the background uh the barcode sorry on there um I'm not going to turn them over because they've got your subgrades on. And let me just get these out as well because they give you they give you all your stuff back as well, which I like. Um, don't don't want to give the game away. There we go. That's the right way. Uh, so they've sent me back my metal cards. They are extra now. When they first started, they were included. Uh, I believe I'm not wrong in saying that. Please tell me if I am. But I believe they were included. Now, they are a small extra, but at the end of the day, these cards are metal. So that it wasn't sustainable doing that for forever. Uh, so I, it, like I say, it's optional. I like putting them in my binder because I'm a mass set collector. Fills those space in your binder. Um, but for, for what they cost you, it's, it's totally worth it. We'll go over that in a little bit more detail later. Uh, so let's get these out. Oh, I can see there right on the back, uh, right off the bat is one of the metal cards I've sent. I haven't sent my Celebrations metal cards yet. And of course, we're going to have the Mew uh, one from 151 when that UPC drops. Uh, I know people are a bit a bit wary of grading the metal cards after what happened with, with the big boys um, damaging the, the Celebrations ones. But the ones that I sent them were the two from the, uh, from the Arceus one. From the Arceus UPC. So again, brilliant stars, master set. That's what it's all about. Let's just get them there. And we're just going to do them one at a time. You can see they've got sleeves on as well. 
which is nice. And they do put this uh, this nice little tab over the front of it. Um, putting it on the outside, they are now, because uh, in case you want to keep them in the, in the sleeves, um, I'm not going to do that. But as you can see here, we have the uh, the Arceus V-Star uh, from the Premium Collection. So we've got Arceus V-Star, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Premium Collection 2022, 123 out of 172 Metal. And for the purpose of the video, I am going to take them out, but for the purpose of the video, we'll just get rid of the little tab. You can actually ask them to put these on as well for your video openings. That's a lovely touch for, for content creators, I think. And what have we got? We've got a nine. We have a nine. Nice. Let's have a look. Let's say the barcodes as well. I am going to show you, because uh, just for the sake of comparison, um, the, the older slabs as well, because they had first edition there. So I'll just get you one of those. Anyway, so I'll just flex me a little uh, gold Mewtwo from Celebrations. There you go. So there's the difference. As you can see, uh, they did say after 1,000 submissions, the first edition was going to go. They had the holographic uh, PCG there, and it's just been changed with a barcode. Um, I prefer this. I like the little PCG hologram. I get it with a barcode, uh, but we got the QR code there as well. So I'll have to scan them, see what the difference is. Um, if there is any difference in the data that those barcodes hold. But no, I, I like the PCG hologram, I have to say. Front is quite similar. And I'm actually just going to get this out. So as they said on the very nice slip that they gave me, that the... Uh, the labels are different now. So just so we can properly see it, let's get this out. Okay. So yeah, the PCG, as you can see there in the logo, it is moved slightly. Um, it looks like it's further down, whether that's by design or not. But they do have this, uh, this swooshy swirl, as you can see there, up and down. It's more pronounced, definitely more pronounced. And just holding it up in the light, um, you can't see it very well on camera. You probably can actually on the left there, how you can see through it. You can see the, the QR code on the back. Yeah, so you can. The difference is, is night and day, to be fair. That is much better. So PCG, 10 out of 10 on your new labels. When you really hold it up to the light, you can still see through it, but it's a white label, so you're going to be able to. But it is uh, is nowhere near kind of as transparent as it is on the old one. So very happy. I'm very happy with a 9 with a metal card as well. I think it was very surprising with the, uh, the Arceus UPC because they came with no protection whatsoever. How, how much better condition overall the metal cards were in? Um, but I think... Obviously, the, the Celebrations UPC, that was the first one they did, wasn't it? So I think they uh, they kind of mastered what they were doing. So our second one is just the Arceus V. Of course, Arceus V, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Premium Collection, 2022, 122, 172, Metal. And what have we got on this? We've got an 8. So I do want to show you these reports as well. Um, but we'll, we will do that later thinking about it. So we'll just, we'll just go through them. So we've got 155, 156. And we'll have a good look over them. So this one, we've got our Charizard V, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Brilliant Stars. Of course, I told you this was a Brilliant star submission. All of them have the Brilliant Stars set marker, even if they don't come from that set, uh, from a booster box or anything. And what have we got here? We've got a nine. So that's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. We've got uh, two nines and an eight. Next one. Oh, we've got Luminian V. I've been waiting so long to get this back. I went on my holidays as well, so I asked them not to send it back, and they did hold on to it for me, which I do appreciate, by the way, uh, very much. Didn't want Royal Mail having hold of my cards. So what's this Luminian V, the alternate art got? A nine. So we're on three nines and an eight. 
I'm still waiting for my uh, my perfect 10, my my 10 plus. Next one, Pikachu V, full art. This isn't going to get a nine. Oh, it is, right? Well, shows how much I know. I mean, the centering is a bit off. You can see that right there, left to right. But the rest of it must be absolutely fan dabby dozy. That's what I mean. We'll we'll see when we uh, when we check out these grading reports. Ah, so we've got our Arceus V full art. What have we got here? We've got a 10, our first 10. Nice. Oh, big boy. Big boy Rainbow Charizard V-Star. Another 10. Sweet. We got Arceus V Rainbow. Two rainbows. What's this one going to get? A nine. Oh, yep, I forgot, actually. I sent in uh, all three of the uh, Galarian birds, and Articuno gets a nine. Zapdos. Zapdos up next. Oh, a ten. Moltres. An eight. Ooh, really? Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing these grading reports. Not... Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with that grade. Oh, and here we go. The uh, Arceus V promo. Uh, got this for the figure collection. And I believe it was in Japanese for the uh, Legend of Arceus game. And it is a nine. Okay, so we got... What did we get there? Three tens, two eights, and a whole bunch of nines. So just bear with me, guys. And what we will do is... First off, we're going to have a look at these metal cards, which give you the subgrades. And then we're going to hop over onto the website as well. So our first one is uh, the Arceus V. So that one right there. And the front got a 10. Sides and corners, 8. Back, 10. Centering, 9. I'm going to get this out. There you go, 10, 8, 10, 9, overall 9. That's that's fair, really. Our next one is the Galarian Moltres. So this is the 8, and they've given the front 8, size 9, back 8, centering 9. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I can see. I think there's some little marks on that, actually, around there. But we will find out. We will find out. For sure. Uh, next one is Charizard V, which was a nine. So this was the full art. And it says here, front, ten, sides, nine, back, eight, centering, nine. So nine overall. Must be something on the back there. Again, we'll find out. Next one, Arceus V. So this is the metal card. Front eight, sides eight, back eight, centering nine. So that's that one. That's all our eights done with. Uh, next is Galarian Zapdos V at a 10. Oh, would you look at that? We've got front 10, sides 10, back 10, centering nine. So it was just one off. One off. I've had that once before as well. Uh, Galarian Articuno, which was a 9, and we've got front 10, sides and corners 9, back 8, centering 9. And that's that one, so interesting to see what's wrong with the back there. Uh, next metal card, Arceus V-Star, which is a 9, which will be this one right here. No, it's not, actually. It's this one. And we've got front 10, sides of corners 10, back 8, centering 9. So it gets a 9 overall, despite having two 10s, 1819. Uh, drops it down to a 9, unfortunately. Um, there's something wrong with the back. So I mean, it's nice why they have the, the grading sheets. Uh, next one, Pikachu V, so it's this full art. Front 9, sides of corners 10, uh, back 9, centering 8. So we get 9 overall. Up next, Luminium V, uh, we've got front 10, sides and corners 9, back 8, century 9. You, you're not going to get um, 
easy tens from PCG guys. But that's good because it gives you a fair reflection of what your card actually is. Next one is this metal card, Arceus V Star 9. So we've got 9989. Nine, Overall 9. That seems fair. And what's the next one we've got? We've got Arceus V at 10. Uh, so we've got 10, 10, 10, 9. So that's it. Two now, where my perfect 10 has been ruined by the uh, centering being a 9 and not a 10, which, which is a shame. And then we've got the Arceus V star. Uh, so it's a 10 overall, but we've got 10, 10, 9, 9. Right. Let's jump on over to the website then, because this, this is the interesting bit. Okay, so this is um, Pocket Card Grading's website. It's a very good website, actually, to be honest. Um, and as you can see there, unfortunately, some unscrupulous person has stolen some cards. Some people are just disgusting, aren't they? So let's have a look at this grading sheet then. The new and improved grading sheet. So our first number was uh, 1555. And we can hit enter now as well. I never used to be a thing, but I like that. Uh, so there we go. There's my card. We got serial 1555, year 2022, English metal, 9989. Goes, tallies up perfectly what's in the metal card. We got total of two. So I've got the nine. Some poor sap's got an eight. Devastated. Uh, sorry. And then we just view the card report. So, yeah, this is much better because what it used to be was um, basically the piece of paper that they used when they were doing it. And, yeah, I mean, you can go back and search any number. Um, that's under 1,000. And, and and you'll see the old one. Uh, so this one's uh, very much better because it's not a piece of paper with with the, the work upon it and the scribbles on the side. So um, much cleaner. So what have we got here then? We, you can see the red lines here. Uh, so we've got front very faint print lines there and there and there and there. You can check over these for yourselves, obviously, but uh, I have no reason not to trust the guys over at PCG. So we've got, yeah, front, uh, and this is your centering bit. So left, right, 10, top, bottom, 10. Then on the back, left, right, 9, top, bottom, 9. Uh, so we've got, again, very faint print lines in the front. Sides and corners, chipping on bottom edge on the back. So they say it's there. Uh, back eight, scratches in gold and lump in gloss print on ball, unfortunately. So that'd be there and there. And the center in left, right, back, off center print, white line visible on right side. But overall, I think for a metal card, that's pretty good. That's That's pretty good. So our next one at fifteen fifty six, not fifteen fifty five, fifteen fifty six is our second metal card. So we've got two here, and someone's got a nine, and I've got the eight. So that serves me right for my little ha ha before, doesn't it? And so if we got them front eight, faint print lines, small lump under gloss, print on head, uh, scuff marks at waist. There you go, print on head there, scuff marks on the waist. Yeah, and faint print lines. Uh, front, center, in left, right, top, bottom, and nines. On the back, nine and eight. Uh, so we got sides and corners, shipping on bottom edge uh, on the back and bottom right corner, small white spot on top edge. Back, faint scratches in the gold. And no comment on the center in. 1557. Hope this is informative to you guys, by the way, and just the level of detail and care that uh, PCG actually um, offer, you know? Because I think this is great. So obviously we've got here, we've got my subgrades, 10, 9, 8, 9. That's fine. Overall 9. They've got two, one at a 9, one at an 8. So I come out on top again. And front. Uh, we've got a little red mark here. Uh, go away, Microsoft Edge, you suck. Uh, so we've got a little uh, red dot here. Um, well, that will be on the edges. So front, 10. Uh, sides and corners, small chips, top and bottom on the edge. Oh, yes, yeah, so we've got one there and one there, which lets the sides and corners down. 
back a multiple white ink dot misprints. So dotting all these, um, don't use the UV light for these. And centering nine, we've got eight left, right on the front, nine top bottom, nine left, right on the back, and ten top bottom. 1558. And this is the Luminion. So we've got 10989, which matches the metal card they've given me. They've all, guys, you've only had one of these? Only one person submitting the Luminion V? Wow. So we got front 10 banging. We've got sides and corners 9, small dents top and bottom. We get a lot of these uh, issues, don't we? I've been having them with Palde Evolved recently. Um, which isn't great. Uh, back, fine print cut lines on bottom border and white ink dot misprints. So, as I say, they're not just going to go, like, take... I think this is the biggest thing with these, is they're not just going to take 30 seconds to look at your card, um, like your PSA. And this is where I think the grading scene is a little bit unfair. Um, on these newer companies, especially, because everyone's like, oh, I just want PSA, it would take 30 seconds to look at my card, and... I can resubmit it three different times and get three different grades. Granted, I've never resubmitted a card um, from PCG. I haven't cracked it and then sent it back in. But with the level of care and detail that they do take, I'd be shocked if you resubmitted a card and got a different grade, to be honest, because just how much they go into it. And for me, your PSAs, your Beckets, your CGCs, they should be taking this amount of time as well. Um, obviously, uh, they just want the quantity, conveyor belt, in and out the door, you know, cash monies. But why is the premium on a PSA card when it's completely just kind of random what, what they will grade your card at? So our Pikachu then, who seems a little bit battered on the front, that's not great, is it? So there's a very faint hollow uh, repeat line under a strong light this is what i mean it's not just someone just eyeballing your card while they have the lunch and missing texture spots so that there is what's let my pikachu down uh we got size and corners 10 uh back nine ink dot misprint right there centering eight and you got seven eight and seven nine on that centering so yeah pikachu you're not in the best condition pal are you and again, they've only had one of these. Do, do people not like grading the Brilliant Stars or what? What's going on? So we've got Arceus V. I did uh, grade my Japanese version of this as well when I was collecting Starbirth. I've binned it off since. Um, so we've got a 10 here. And again, just one. Just one. Uh, so we've got uh, front 10, side corners 10, back 10, century 9. No real comment. Because um, obviously those three are perfect, and they just said the centering in left, right, nine, top, bottom, eight, left, right, nine, top, bottom, nine. So, yeah, that eight's not great. Obviously, I mean, we, we'd need that to be a 10, and maybe those two to be a 10, and get that pushed up to a 10 for it to be a 10 plus, I imagine. But so close, yet so far away. So we've got 15, 61, which... Is that rainbow Charizard? No way you've only had one of these as well, guys. No way. <laughs> I'm I'm shocked at that. How's no one else graded one of these? Uh so again, we got 10, 10, no comments, 9, ink dot misprint. There and there. That's like that down in the century nine. That was pretty close too, really, if it weren't for those dots. You know, the centering's holding up relatively well. Uh, 1562, this is going to be our Rainbow Arceus. Again, one. Wow. What's everyone been grading? Uh, so we've got front 10, side corners 10, uh, back 8, ink dot misprint, and a bleach dot as well. I'll, I'll check that out in a bit more detail, because then that's, that's interesting. Century 9, twisted. Twisted off center. Hmm. Twist, twisted. That's a uh, an odd, an odd way of putting it, I suppose. 
I mean, it's slanted. That's the way I'd say it. It's slanted. Um, top right hand side to bottom left. Maybe that's what they mean by twisted. I imagine so. I will go with slanted myself. But it's just terminology. Um, if I'm wrong there, guys, feel free to, to let me know. But I would say twisted. Uh, I would say slanted, sorry, not twisted. Um, Galarian had a Q note. Again, just the one. Just the one. Uh, Fame light chips in front corners. Multiple link dot misprints, bleach dots. That's fine. That's fine. That's why I like looking over these, because even though they... You don't do you dirty. You can actually see and understand for yourself because I think anyone who grades cards get the cards back and goes, no, that's that's a 10. Again, just one. Wow. Century 9. Oh, left, right, 8. 8, 9 there. That's what's letting us down. That's what's letting us down. Ah, oh, dear. 1565. We're nearly there now. Galarian Moltres. Right, this is what I was interested about. I said I thought there was some issue around this area, didn't I? Are we going through them? Again, just the one. Let's have a look. Uh, hollow dots on the front. It's actually quite hard to see. Oh, up there. Yeah, yeah, Tor's right. There's dots there. It's basically like sort of scraped off. The black isn't black. Uh, faint white chip at top edge front, uh, back eight, bleach dot, uh, bleach spot, white ink misprint cluster at bottom left, right there, century nine. So unfortunately, yes, my Moltres was a little bit tated, wasn't it? And our last one is Arceus V. Romo. So they've had two of these, one got an eight, one got a nine. I got the nine. Uh, so we've got the front ten. Uh, white chips on all corners. There you go. But that's par for the course with promos a lot of the time. Back 10, centering 9. So we've got 9, 9, 10, 10. I suppose the front's more important, I guess. Or you round it down. Don't know, because obviously we've got two 10s, two 9s. It's interesting. It's interesting. Not saying it should be a 10. Not saying it shouldn't be a 9. Um, if it were me, I'd, I'd go for a 9, especially because it's the front. Which, that's fair. That's fair, I think. Right, so we've just got a couple out of the sleeves to show you, you know, kind of what they were saying. So the Arceus V star, this is what I was saying about twisted. I was like, twisted off center? What's that mean? Um, but as I was saying, slanted, you can see there. It's going downhill. So I think I think that's that's what that means. Um and again on the back as well. Like really bad. You can see that clear as day. And another little example here is the Moltres. You can see the speckling there as well. And I think they said there were a load of white dots down here as well. So but yeah, I hope that has been informative. I love my return submission. I'm still waiting for that 10 plus. Um, but if you are thinking about grading, uh, please uh, con consider him. Consider him. I won't use anybody else. I never have done. It took me ages to find a grading company that I felt I could trust with my cards. I settled on PCG and I've never been disappointed. So thank you very much, guys. I love the uh, the new grading reports. Um, the information they give is obviously very similar to what you gave anyway. Um, but I think it's just... Uh, cleaner, easier to to read, understand. Um, so yeah, gold gold star as far as that goes. Um, to everybody else, if you do want to check them out, their link to their website will uh, be in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. We'll get back to normal with uh, some openings, some Pal Day Evolved, some Pokemon One Fifty One. We've got a lot going on right now. I'll see you soon.